uh, you could have done better. Uh, for you, the better choice would have been uh, something with a, with a two thirds. I mean, I still would have beaten you, but it would have made it at least a little bit more difficult to beat you. So let's say we want to try the same game, but with a longer sequence, uh, maybe sequences of four or something like that. And then I'll tell you what the best choice is then. To make something up, heads, tails, tails, heads, heads again, heads again. Oh, it could be anything. I'll, I'll make it a really long one, right? Tails, heads, heads, tails. Let's say something like that. Um, my best choice is to take Brady's sequence Actually, it's slightly different from the, from the uh, three case because I'm going to take the last coin, which was this one here. I'm going to take a copy of that, put that at the front and flip it over. The same sort of idea, but I'm taking the last coin, not the middle one. Uh, it's only the, uh, the three sequence, which was the special case for that. Everything else, you do this. Oh, take the tail, put it at the front, flip it over, and I will have taken the same sequence, but with heads at the start. And then tails, 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 and everything else I wrote here. There you go. Tails, heads, heads. So it would have been equal length as well. Uh, Brady's best choice, if he knows that I know that he knows that I know, what well, his best choice is then, which has the weakest probability for me, even though it's still better than 50%, his best choice would have been uh, heads, and then lots and lots of tails in the middle as many tails as we need, and then two more heads at the end, like that. Uh, I would have picked then uh, tails, because I'm taking that and flipping it over, heads, I would have repeated this sequence of tails and then heads there. Uh, that has the weakest winning probability, but it's still a winning probability. Is that weird enough for you, or do you want me to make it more weird? No, I, good. Okay, that's okay, right. we're done. Yeah, we're done. No, no. <laughs> I can make it more weird. Okay, I can make it more weird. Uh, so if we do uh, sequences greater than three, and let's do um, four, okay, it gets more weird because of this. If you look at the probabilities, if we were doing sequences of four, let's just pick uh, something like this. Let's say I wanted the probability of tail, head, 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 uh, occurring before um, heads, heads, heads. Heads. Okay. If I wanted something like that, now that's actually quite an easy probability to work out. We've sort of discussed this in the in the three case. Uh, so the probability that you would win would be a uh, fifteen sixteenths, which is a pretty good probability, right? About ninety four percent. This is a much better choice because the only way heads 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 is going to win is if it comes up straight away in the first four coins. Uh, otherwise, ah, oh, you're scuppered. So you have this probability, it's a really good winning probability. And if you look at um, uh, waiting times, right, for, let's say the waiting time for heads, 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 the expected waiting time for that is, is 30, right? So it takes a long time for that sequence to appear. Uh, and if you compared it with the other sequence, the, the tail, heads, 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 uh, I mean, it's more likely to appear. So it's actually a shorter waiting time. It's, it's, it's 16 coin tosses. This is where it gets weird, because there are examples where the waiting time is the other way round and not the way round you expect it. I'll show you. The probability of tail heads, tail heads occurring before heads, tails, heads, heads. This is, this is the same thing we were doing before. Uh, you see, the cho my choice is taking this heads here and flipping it over, putting it at the beginning. And so this has you know, a winning probability. It's Nine fourteenths, I can tell you how much that is. It's about 64%. So this is pretty good. Uh, but look at the waiting times. The expected waiting time for heads, tails, heads, heads is 18. But if you compare it with the expected waiting time for the other thing, that was tail, heads, tail, heads, right? Even though it's more likely to occur first, it has a longer waiting time. It's 20. So weird. Uh, it, it's, I mean, really, if you think about it, these are two different games you're playing. One game is waiting times game, the other game is what appears first. They're actually two different things. Uh, and most of the time, they do sort of correspond as you would expect them to correspond, but um, not all the time. This game is called Penny's Game, uh, or Penny Ante. Uh, which I think is a, a kind of a pun. 
Uh, actually, the strange thing is, uh, Penny doesn't refer to coins and pennies and flipping coins. It's actually the name of the guy who came up with the, uh, with the game. He was called Penny. It's kind of one of those situations when you have a, a baker called Mr. Baker or a mathematician called Dr. Sexy or something like that.